this edition of Rotary News Network. November is Rotary Foundation Month, and this year the Rotary World celebrates the Foundation's 75th anniversary. As a symbol of festive observance, the image of candles is being used to spotlight people and projects that represent Rotary's spirit of service. Born of the inspired leadership of past President Art Klumpf, the Rotary Foundation has contributed more than $500 million U.S. for humanitarian causes. The endowment fund, proposed at the 1917 International Convention in Atlanta, Georgia, USA, was in the words of Rotarian Klumpf, for the purpose of doing good in the world in charitable, educational, and other avenues of community progress. Although the fingers of a pianist act individually, their ultimate goal is unity in musical expression. So it is with the Rotary Foundation Scholarship. It takes the unified efforts of many players to make it happen. Octavio Gaston Gutierrez is a pianist of considerable talent. And since September of 1989, that talent has been finely tuned at the University of North Texas in Denton. I knew about uh, Rotary International, Rotary Clubs, in my home um, because fortunately um, a good man a nice a nice man uh, name which uh, whose name is Gilberto Ramirez uh, he's a Rotarian a really active Rotarian in my home which is Salamanca uh, Mexico and uh, he told me about okay uh, I think that, that you can you can apply for a scholarship at first, there was doubt Octavio could pass the English entrance exam at his university. Behind every prodigy is a master, and Octavio is benefiting from the piano pedagogy of two-time Chopin competition winner, Adam Wudnicki. Very nice. One of the most striking things in the, uh, about uh, our work together is what I would generally call his musical intelligence and his response to different ideas, which is really unusually quick. In music, science, journalism, and other fields, Rotary Foundation scholarships continue to help recipients reach their full potential. Over the years, 20,000 scholarships valued at $183 million have been awarded. First of all, and very personally, I wish to express my sincere thanks to all the Rotarians and the Rotary Foundation for the help given to Octavio. They are the ones who opened all the doors for him. Thank you so much, Bill Harrison, for all those things that he has done for me. Thank you, Rotary. Once again, Rotary's Polio Plus program is in the spotlight. In a special ceremony at the United Nations in New York, Rotary International President Rajendra Sabu joined celebrities and world leaders to celebrate what was billed as the greatest public health success story of the decade. This is a momentous occasion. In 1985, Rotary International joined the global alliance in the fight against diseases affecting children. Through its Polio Plus program, Rotarians raised $230 million to eradicate polio by the year 2000. Dr. Hiroshi Nakajima, Director General of the World Health Organization, and James Grant, Executive Director of UNICEF, officially declared 80% immunization of the world's children. This celebration is proof of how much good can be done for children, for humankind. Civilization is measured by how well we take care of those who are our neighbors and who are in need. I express my deep thanks for your demonstration of what civilization can be. Thank you very much.
I think one of the reasons that I like Rotary so much, I was reminded of earlier today, I love to be with a group of people who can sing as well as I can. <laughs> one of the things that impressed me about Rotary when I was in South Africa was that this was a group of people who had an international view of the world. Rotary International Fellowship was an excellent opportunity that not only provided me the chance to further my study, but to go to the United States and meet a lot of people. So I applied, and I was very fortunate. Thank you. If I had not gone to the United States as a Rotary Fellow, I don't think I would have pursued uh, the study of international relations. I had large aspirations, and I was broke. I wanted to see what the world had to teach me. I wanted to explore. It was the exposure to other people, uh, not what I learned in the classroom, that has stayed with me the longest. Each year, the Rotary Foundation and districts worldwide send over 1,000 ambassadorial scholars throughout the world. A year of study and cultural exchange offers many opportunities. The success of their time abroad depends on how well they are prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. To address those challenges, many districts organize a yearly outbound scholar orientation seminar. Here, scholars gain a wealth of knowledge and information that will make their study year a success. Scholars are assisted and guided in their preparation by past scholars, Rotary Foundation staff, and Rotarians like you. Our purpose is threefold. Number one, to give you that opportunity to get acquainted with each other and to know each other and to appreciate each other for the really fine people that you are. The seminar is invaluable and if it was my choice I'd, I'd dictate that every district would have one of these seminars. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to putting some of the things I've heard to use next year. This seminar is a must. Imbued with the heart of an explorer, propelled by the words and guidance of Rotarians. Our scholars are now primed for flight. They stand ready to face the challenge of being ambassadors of goodwill and peace. Mm -hmm.